All right, everyone. So um, it is Friday, August twenty fourth, two thousand eighteen. It's the day before the show, so I'm about uh, just shy of being uh, a little bit just before, if you want to say, twenty four hours away from showtime. Uh, a couple hours here, I'm gonna drive out and uh, go take my polygraph for the OCB and then I'm gonna go get tanned up as soon as that's over but I wanted to shoot this video um, and you're probably gonna see this after the fact as usual but I'm feeling a little sentimental right now um, regarding this whole competition season and there's a reason for that um, and you're probably gonna see a whole series right after this video if I debut this This is probably going to be my last ever natural bodybuilding competition slash just bodybuilding competition in general. Um, you know, I've always told you that bodybuilding competitions aren't the healthiest of things. Even even someone as smart as me, as well uh, as much of a student of the game as I am. Um, you know, it's just dieting down and everything takes its, its toll on your body. And uh, that's actually part of what you'll see in the next video. Um, and if it is, if the thing that I'm suffering from uh, is connected to me being this lean and dieting down, then unfortunately I'm going to have to you know, never do this again. Because obviously long-term health is far more important uh, than stepping on stage. That doesn't mean I can't train, that doesn't mean I can't do mini cuts here and there if I, if I want to just lean out a little bit, but getting stage lean looks like it might not be for me anymore. So, um, you know, I, I just hope with everything that I've done in one way or another, getting on stage and showing people how to not have to eat the same three foods or starve themselves or live in the gym, that you can still get great results. I, I hope that's the positive impact that I'm going to have for whoever has watched me through my competition seasons or my descriptions of my competition seasons from 2012 to now. And, uh, you know, uh, unfortunately, once again, it looks like a passion of mine will be cut short same as basketball was because my body is just not capable of handling what I want to do with it it's, it's, it's always breaking down um, and this is all discovered through the shoulder issue that I've been having uh, but the main thing I want you to understand here is that uh, obviously there are worse things in life I can still train and the main thing here is longevity. I can, I can train for the rest of my life. I can still manipulate variables and train and, and pack on more muscle and sculpt my body. Uh, I'm just most likely gonna be losing uh, the ability to compete, is what it is. But I want you to know that you, know, you have to be smart. You have to pay attention to your body. Uh, it's not worth jeopardizing your health. And, uh, you know, this has been, for the past six years, a major part of my life. Um, it's helped me develop discipline. It's helped me push my mental barrier. It's really helped to show myself what I'm truly capable of if I just kind of put my mind to it, regardless of what distractions life has thrown at me, whether it's been two moves in the past couple years, um, you know, marriage, job, uh, running a business, whatever, um, you know, I know that I am far more capable than I ever imagined. Uh, if you watch some of my earlier series, I mean, long, long time ago videos, I was kind of always famous for telling myself I can't or I couldn't, uh, I quit or I just never even tried to push myself because I never really thought I was capable of much. And being able to step on stage and do do what I've done with my physique and, and come in the way I've come in and never touching a drug doing it and I don't care if you don't believe me I really don't give a damn because I know I can I can face myself in the mirror I know exactly what I've done and how I've done it 
um, it's just opened a lot of doors for me in other areas. So, if, it, if anything, though this door looks like it's probably closing for me, um, it's opened up so many others that I, you know, I got trapped in wanting to win shows and, and, and you know, be the best. And to show you in all reality, it wasn't, um, it doesn't mean Jack Diddley. Um, you know, but I, I, I should have appreciated all the previous years more, the journey more. And right now I'm just kind of really running through that now. Um, I'm really just trying to not stress out because there's no reason to. I know I've done everything to the best of my ability. I can't thank my coach enough for everything that he's done to get me here. He's introduced me to some new protocols that I would have never dared try that I think has made a huge difference in the packages that I'm bringing to stage this year. Um, I've learned so much. I've studied more. Um, you know, I've really become more involved in just competition prep, listening to more podcasts, reading more books, reading more scientific studies, trying to get a grasp on the material, educating myself, becoming more knowledgeable, um, helping others to change their life, not even just compete, just change their life, change their lifestyle, help them, you know, lose a couple pounds, add a couple pounds of muscle, just feel better about themselves, the psychology of, of how the brain works with each, each individual. Um, so I'm just trying to be thankful, I guess, um, that I, I have had this opportunity to do something, find a passion in it, really just redirect my life and my mindset. Um, and, uh, you know, just appreciate the fact that tomorrow, no matter what the result, uh, I brought the best that I could. God damn it! I, I gave this everything. I didn't cut any corners. I, you know, I, I did the cardio that I was supposed to do. I stuck to the nutrition I was the way I was supposed to stick to it. You know, um, I have to thank every person from day one that got me into this. Um, and there's just so many; it's ridiculous. But um, literally, for my coach and and you know my buddy back in the day, John Garifano. Um, though we're not really conversing anymore, it was him who put the idea in my head, planted the seed, helped me through my first two competition seasons um, to get ready to do this in 2012 and 2014. To uh, Kent Beerley from the ANBF, from you know taking a guy who thought he was big and humbling him real fast. That you know, compared to some of these guys who have done this, I, I really am just an amateur and. Even though I have my pro card, I still consider myself a rookie, uh, an amateur, because I'm still learning. I, you know, like I said, I, I'm more than honest. There are better people out there than me in, in more ways than one in terms of physiques or tra understanding training or nutrition or just, you know, whatever. There's, there's always somebody better. Um, you know, from the back in the days of pure focus and brick. Um, you know, to my wife putting up with the past six years of, you know, not always being able to go out to, uh, you know, random, well, it's not that we couldn't, but I'd bring my own food and, you know, watching me diet down and understanding that my energy levels were going to dip and sometimes she'd have to pick up some extra slack because I just didn't have the ability to, to do everything I normally do just because mentally you're, t you know, you're, you're exhausted, physically you're exhausted. Um, supporting me through all this even sometimes when she knew it would be too stressful for me to do or might not have been the best time for me to compete um, but sticking with me and understanding that uh, I needed to do this uh, for me you know um, to my parents finally coming out and watching a show even though they don't get it they were there for my May show this year for the first time ever um, and cheering me on to all of my clients who have put their faith in me uh, to get them the results that they want and believing in the process and trusting me and or coming to my shows to support me when I'm competing. Uh, you have no idea. You've become like my little family. You've become my friends um, because I get so much gratification when you, you know, when you hit that new PR or 
you begin to see a little muscle definition or you drop those first three pounds or whatever the case may be, the, the battles that you're fighting um, to, to just keep coming and not, you know, not make excuses and just trust that I'm going to get you there. I, I can't thank you enough. Uh, I appreciate it more than you know. Um, to, you know, uh, Jim from Pro Star Massage, dude, honestly, if it wasn't for you, I don't even know if I would have made it to stage because my body was just so beat to piss. Um, you know, constantly stretching me out and fixing me and adjusting me and, and, and you know, telling me to do some things that I normally wouldn't have done that have just really helped my body stay as reasonably fresh as possible for bodybuilding prep because, um, you know, which has translated to more symmetry in my muscularity to, you know, just being able to get some of the adhesions and stuff out so that I can actually show off the musculature that I have. I mean, my, my definition's off the chain. I've never looked like this before, and the only thing different I did was work with him um, for just taking, you know, taking care of me. Really, just taking an interest in what I'm doing, why I'm doing, how I'm doing it, what needed to be done, and you know, building a systematic plan to get me there. Um, so now that I have less inflammation in my body and everything else, um, to my coach Andrew, man, Jesus, bro, like we did it. We like. I went from kind of thing I was going to competing to competing, and we do, both times now we've dialed in, and I think I'm even more dialed in now than before. So to Andrew Pardue, dude, so happy, so so happy with how, how all this is, is turning out. Um, to uh, my little training partner James and client for always like kicking my I kick his ass, but he kicks my ass like every Saturday to to push and grind when I didn't have necessarily the best <laughs> mindset sometimes or even the right amount of energy um, to be doing what we're doing but we did it um, even training arms which I usually don't do I think has actually made a huge difference uh, in the way my arms look so I'm just appreciative for it all guys I, I really am I don't think you understand how much all of you mean to me. I don't say it enough. I don't think I've understood how much it's, it's meant to me until now. Uh, what I've been dealing with. And even with the Instagram and YouTube community who, who've been following me and you know cheering me on and saying that I inspire them and all that kind of stuff. I mean, this, this might be it, guys. This might be the last time. But... Um, Gonna go in, do my last final circuit. I'm gonna do my last carb up till tomorrow. And uh, I'm just gonna try to uh, appreciate every minute and every second of this, no matter what. All right, guys. <laughs> I don't care if it's corny. I'll talk to you later.